There are a lot of myths and fears out there uh, uh, regarding adjusting truss rods on a guitar neck. Uh, it's not rocket science. A truss rod counteracts the pressure, the tension uh, that the strings create on the neck shaft. Uh, sometimes due to humidity changes, seasonal changes, um, the wood moves and the truss rod needs to be adjusted to compensate for that. Uh, so if you have a straight edge, a good straight edge, lay it across the fret tops and um, take a look at what state the neck is in. If you've got uh, a forward bow uh, or a back bow. If you don't have a straight edge, then just use the strings that are on the guitar when it's strung up to pitch. Uh, you want to fret it at the first fret and the same string at the same time at the last fret and just check to see what kind of clearance you've got under the seventh or eighth fret. You want a few thousandths of an inch, you know, anywhere from five to ten, ten thousandths of an inch, something like that, um, is good. If you see that the string is laying on top of the frets all the way down the line, that means that it's either dead straight or a bit backbone. Uh, that's no good. You need uh, at least a little tiny bit of relief. Some people can get, can get away with playing a neck that's dead straight, but only if you've got a very, very light uh, picking hand, very light touch. So uh, let's use this as, as an example. Here's a Fender Strat neck. This one's got a little bit of a back bow. Um, so I'm just going to adjust it with this Allen key. Now the key, the trick is to do this yourself. Don't worry. Oh, just be reasonable. Turn it a little bit, only a little bit, maybe an eighth of a turn, quarter of a turn at the most, and see what happens. So I'm going to turn this one mm, about an eighth, between an eighth and a quarter of a turn. And uh, now after turning the truss rod, the neck has to acclimatize or get used to the new tension that it's under. Uh, or, or lack of tension in this case, uh, because I just backed off the tension of the truss rod. Sometimes it takes a day or two to um, really fully settle into the new position, uh, but you know, I, I like to help it out if I can, and um, I'm just going to help it out. Oh, I know, I can hear all kinds of gnashing of teeth and wringing of hands out there right now, people watching me do this, but listen, I've been doing this for 25 years. Yeah, sure, if you're going to go all Incredible Hulk on the thing and you start hearing splintering, well, <laughs> you've gone too far. Just, like I said, just be reasonable, just helping it a little bit. It's not rocket science. Adjust it yourself.